My dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you uh, to this uh, session. And uh, today I actually came across uh, something that was very, very interesting, which is mind disturbing. And at times also it is spiritually also heartbreaking. And uh, uh, what we are seeing here that uh, there is another, you know, uh, tension over uh, the, the temple construction that the people there in the city, that is the city of Las Vegas, were actually, you know, uh, against also the temple construction. That is the, the temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I don't know why people are really revolting about the construction of the temple in their cities. Because last time I checked, it was uh, one of the northern city in Texas. And now it is actually Las Vegas. Okay? People are actually having this tension that they don't want the temple to be built there and all that. And uh, I really, really don't understand what exactly is going on. We are actually living in the last days where persecutions are many. And um, people are actually against what the Lord is actually, you know, restoring. And I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. And most of these people who are striving or refusing the temple to be built, they themselves also profess to be believers. And I don't understand why they are actually refusing the temple to be built in this city called Las Vegas. And uh, without further ado, please in, let me invite you so that we can see what exactly happened. Please welcome. Beginning with the tension over the possible construction of a temple by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the city of Las Vegas heard the complaints of neighbors in a virtual meeting. And our Courtney Johns has more on this. Information helps us all be better advocates. Whether you're in favor or against the proposed temple, or perhaps you're still deciding. The city of Las Vegas holding a virtual meeting allowing for staff to discuss the proposal, specifically how the proposed temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does not conflict with local agreements, building limitations, or zoning rules as they interpret it. The same requirements followed by county residents. Jesus says, uh, do unto others as you should have them do unto you, Boom. but that's not what they're doing. Nearly 30 Lone Mountain neighbors expressed their concern that the forum doesn't address the root problem, the proposed footprint and height of the building. They're just kind of bypassing the actual zoning here because with the zoning that you're not supposed to build anything above 35 feet, they're far exceeding that. The guy who represents the church says, oh, that's above my pay grade. I want to talk to the person that's within that pay grade and answer our questions. Well, so first let's clarify, I don't have a pay grade. Everything I do is completely voluntary in the church. Lone Mountain Stake President Bud Stoddard says the church is trying to stay within all city requirements, despite the designs coming from the church's headquarters. The proposals that have to do with the design of temples are made by the church's architects in Salt Lake City, as well as the pro special projects department. All aspects of the design are made by the prophet of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That was our Courtney Johns reporting that story. Now, Las Vegas already has a temple located in the East Valley near Frenchman Mountain. A spokesperson with the church said the new proposed location would help meet the demand members on the west side of the valley have. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, you can see the devil is a liar and uh, persecutions are really raging all over the world. All over the world, persecutions are really raging. Now it has come to that the temples are finding very resistance uh, uh, neighborhoods that do not want temples around them. So the issue is about the height. I don't know, the issue is about the height or the issue is about the fear of the unknown. We actually can't even tell. But uh, from what I see in terms of spirituality, is that we need to ensure that we prepare ourselves better because the devil is at work right now, trying to resist the work of the Lord, trying to disapprove on, or trying to, you know, stop and injure the progress of the Lord. And um, 
that one cannot happen because uh, the prophets have always declared that persecutions may rage, mobs may combine, but the truth of God will go boldly, nobly, and independently until it has actually, you know, penetrated every continent, sound in every ear, you know, swept every country until the purposes of the Lord shall be accomplished and the great Jehovah shall say, the work is done. And that is what it is. The work must be done. And you can see those tensions and those resistance, those obstacles that are being created, they can only be overcome by prayer. Because one thing I know, I know is that sometimes I pity these people who are stopping temples from being constructed. One thing is that they do not know they are fighting against a power that is above them. Fighting against a power that is above them. And that one, it is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And uh, that one actually really made me sad. Very, very sad over what exactly is happening. And uh, some of us have never imagined that uh, there are some of the areas whereby they will actually resist a temple construction. You know, they will have to build all these unnecessary tensions to stop the temple from being built. And uh, that is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can see how much the children of men are really refusing that one which is good in the eyes of the Lord. But unfortunately, they are embracing other things. You know, they're embracing other things when they do a perversion of everything. They want people to accept. But when the truth is brought to them, they do not want to accept and they want to force people also not to accept. But when they pervert everything, they want everybody to accept. You know, they want everybody to accept. Which is uncalled for. Very, very much uncalled for. Uh, please, if you have more comments on what is happening in Las Vegas, Kindly drop a comment there. Let me know what exactly is happening and how was it solved. You know, is the temple finally there or what exactly is happening? Please let us know. And uh, thank you very much. God bless you. And I'm looking forward to see you again next time. Ciao.